Everybody, it's Ia Patsy here with your reading for November 2017, and this is going to be for the sign of Gemini. Hi, Gemini. So anyway, let's get started with the reading. All right, first cards that you got in this Celtic crossbred were female issue. In reverse and guardian angel in reverse okay so this speaks of um, locked opportunities um, also talks about waiting for an answer waiting for a door to be open, an uh, opportunity to come. Talks about um, making hasty decisions, losing patience, not being balanced, not being equal. This talks about um, fighting with your partners. Uh, and this could be romantic or this could be at your job, at work, this could be business. So it could be a business partner you're fighting with. Okay, the next card you have is a six of water. Okay, and this speaks about going on uh, a vacation, relaxing, taking some time off to go back to your roots. So you may travel back home or you may travel, you know, like on a journey to uh, trace your genealogy. Uh, something that's going to bring you back to your origins. Maybe you're going to go visit your family in another country, uh, on an island, or somewhere in the Caribbean, maybe. But the vacation you're going on is not just a vacation, it's to reconnect with your friends and family from your past, from your childhood. So you're on your way to your vacation. And everything's good. All right, everything looks good back home. You even have some plans for some um, new things that you might do when you get back. Okay, but you're gonna enjoy the sunlight. Okay, you're gonna enjoy some days off that you've earned. And then you got a frantic or you'll be getting a frantic message from your partners, your people at work, um, and you had to cut your vacation short and return home. And everything was in a world turned upside down. It was in a tizzy. Okay? Um, things that you were, that you had planned were blocked. Okay, and this is your travel arrangements being delayed. Okay, you might not have even been able to get back um, when you made your reservations. Maybe something got um, miscommunicated, turned around. You might have missed your flight. Or there was some kind of problem maybe on the flight that may have had something to do with you. Um, I'm being told that you were being impractical. So maybe, oh, maybe, I'm getting that maybe you tried to get, uh, you tried to get back really quickly and maybe you were willing to do something like buy somebody's seat or something on the plane. And, excuse me, oh, it turned into something totally different. It became a thing. So you didn't get to fly on that flight and you were delayed and it was because of the way that you approached the situation. Uh. Okay. Um, the next card you got was Ace of Earth. And this talks about standing up for yourself. Okay. This talks about victory in your strength and success in business, producing profits, and following your intuition. Whatever it is that you do about the situation, you turn it around and it becomes profitable 
people start looking to you. Well, apparently they all already were, but this this becomes something of notoriety. This this is not just uh, limited to your where you are and the company or the organization that you belong to. This is something that like um, it, it gets out. Like maybe it's in Business Week or Forbes or Fortune. 500, whatever those magazines, Wall Street Journal, something. This has something to do with business and something about the way you turn this business around or the way you save this business that you had to come home off a of vacation for and nobody else could do it but you. That's going to make some kind of headlines. This is important. Okay. Um... Next card you got was Babalu Aye. All right, and he's talking about healing. Okay, something was healed, healing from an illness. Okay, this could also be talking about pain, full joints, um, experiencing arthritis. All right, so some of you out there may be having problems with uh, your bones and your joints, your skin. You may be getting some. Um, problems that you need to see a dermatologist about. Um, this also talks about um, being in charge of an organization or a company. A frater it could be a fraternal organization, um, you know, like the Masons, or it could be uh, like a frat, you know, Greek organization. It could be anything, but you're you're the head of the company, I'm getting. You're the head of the company, or they make you the head of the company. Um, so you gain some notoriety from this, this, this uh, situation. Okay, wonderful. Next card you got, Three of Earth. Everybody's able to provide for their families because of what you did because of the changes that you made to the way the organization ran or the way they marketed themselves or whatever it is, whatever this is, uh, it was a good thing because everybody, all the stockholders are happy, the employees are happy, the investors are happy, did a good job. The last card you got was the Ace of Air. Beautiful, beautiful. Your ancestors, especially your maternal um, energies, um, not necessarily on your mother's side, but just female energies, grandmothers, aunties, sisters, mothers, people who have passed on, especially your uh, female entities are very, very, very proud of you. They just they're, they're making sure that this, this information gets out that, of what you did. They're, they're stirring it up out there. Your guardians, your ancestors are making sure that the world knows, or at least the people that matter know, of what you've done. They're encouraging you to um, spread the word. Hey, that's all right. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that it seemed only you had the smarts to do, it's not over. You, you're going to be getting some serious praise for what you've done, Gemini. Um, and it talks about a duty to share your experiences with the world. This, whatever this was, this was done purposely to bring, uh, this was done purpose, purposely by the divine to bring um, a spotlight to you. They wanted you to be noticed. And when we have these type of um, events in our lives, major events, whether good or bad, it affects it affects the ancestors also, because the better you do, the better they do. Because they're proud of us, they love us, they help us. You know, they're doing their work on that side. What we do our work on this side, and all of it is for the uplifting of our family. 
build on that side and build on this side. So they want you to do good. But they really wanted this to get out. They really wanted this to become a thing. Okay, and this also talks about speaking to others. Okay, so maybe you'll be going and, and giving seminars or speeches, uh, interviews on television. That might be more communications, information. Maybe you'll write a book. Um, and I, I, this also talks about the pros prosperity preaching. I, I'm really not familiar with that. I think I know what that is, uh, where the pastors focus on money, um, like, I don't want to call no names and I don't want no problems, but there are people out there who, um, their Christianity is based on abundance. And they preach about that. And uh, I don't have any opinion on it, but to each their own. There's nothing wrong with abundance. But when you have it, you have to know that you need to share it. Or at least share the secret of how you got it and help people get it. Okay. Um, whatever it is you did, it was a new way to direct the forces of business or organizations towards the uplift of humanity and um, tapping into their spiritual gifts in order to make a profit. I don't even understand what that could be. <laughs> I don't know what. I mean, aside from, you know, uh, encouraging people to pray, to meditate, at, even at work. I, I don't know. But what, I don't know because you haven't invented it yet, you haven't shared it with the world. But whatever it is, you're going to be able to, uh, it's going to be on display. Be careful when you're traveling, though cancers and that could be some of you doesn't have to be, have anything to do with the reading this storyline but I'm seeing that there may be a problem when you get on a plane there, you might get into a, a some kind of problem with another passenger or even with the airline itself okay we were talking about before trying to get back uh, to wherever you were coming from so that you could uh, swoop in and save the day and you may have tried to get on a plane that was overbooked or maybe you you booked a flight and then when you got to the airport they played one of those uh, games with you today you were on the overbooked and I don't know but whatever it became a problem be careful be careful we don't want to see you on YouTube or on the news getting dragged out of the airplane Okay, um, but you got a very good reading here. People depend on you and they trust your word and they trust your opinion. And maybe there's some way for you to uh, uh, blend spirituality with uh, materialism in a new way that is going to catch on. This could be something that you stumbled onto accidentally, but it seemed to have worked very well for you and the people who are associated with your company, the investors, stockholders, whatever. And so now you're going to be going around and you're going to be talking about this experience and you're going to be sharing it with other people and you're going to become an inspiration. I'm hearing you're going to become an inspiration. You're inspiring messages. Hmm. You got an ace of earth and an ace of air. That's great. This is victory. This is victory. This is victory and pride and spirit. Divine intervention in your behalf. 
and it's gonna profit you and the rest of us. You you had like a brainstorm, I guess, like when uh, Zuckerman, Zuckerberg invented Facebook. You know, it's like an aha moment, and it addressed the situation in such a way that you become quite famous for it. So I say, Amen. Alafia. I'll see everybody next week. Um, you know what? That's not fair, right? Oh, you some more, some more cards here. Shame on me, Je I'm sorry, Gemini. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm tired. I guess. Um, thanks for hanging in there with me. All right, so let's see if we can get some um, messages from the conscious spirit or people today. I'm so sorry. I I was saying good night to you. Um, because you, this is a good reading. I mean, you're doing well. You're gonna do well. And you're gonna share. You're gonna share the wealth, or at least share the method of getting the wealth. Integration. I combine mind, body, and soul to lift all of humanity to into a new dimension. Oh yeah, you tapped into something great there, Gemini. Thank you for sharing it with the rest of us. But you. You used your gifts, you combined them, and you made it work for you, and you become a blessing. Ah, oh, Shay. All righty. No, no. The next card that you got from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck is the Archangel Michael. Ah, oh, Shay. That means that your paths are clear. Okay, and you are being protected. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I am grateful for the strength and courage that my Archangel Michael brings into my life. Oh wow, you're gonna, you're gonna, this is gonna be a beautiful thing. You're gonna be courageous and strong and you are gonna take that message and it's gonna be accepted across the planet, across the globe. Wow. Please, if this is resonating with you, let the rest of us know about it. If it happens next month, if it happens uh, in a few days, a few weeks, whatever, let us know. This is exciting news. All right, we should be really uh, proud to know you. So identify yourself. But you know what? It's not even going to really matter because you're going to be so famous. We're going to hear about it where we at. We are going to know the story without you even having to make a comment in, below. But I'd appreciate it if you find time to send me an email and just let me know how that you know how how you felt about it when you saw it happen when it when it was uh, unveiling itself in your in your life. Did it, did you re did it resonate? Did this resonate? Did you, your mind go back to this reading? I just want to know how how that happened people you know like sometimes a lot of time passes between the time that you get the reading and the time that the event occurs and do you get it right away or does it sneak up on you is uh, being you know forewarned is forearmed right That's, is that what it is is that what they say so if you know something's going to happen this is just general if you've been told by a reader, you've gotten a reading and, and you know that you've been told something is going to happen, do you look for it to happen? Are you anticipating it? Or do you just let it, you know, go to the back of your head and not think about it after a while? You know, you think about it maybe for the first couple of days or the first week or two. And then maybe just, you know, other things come into your purview. But I'm wondering... How many of you recognize the blessings that you have been, that have been prophesized to you and that have been predicted for you? And how does that make you feel? How, what is your reaction? Is it an aha moment? Is it scary? Is it uh, happy? Do you say thank God? Do you thank your ancestors? Do you, when those things happen, do you have an attitude of gratitude? Oh, frolic, 
forest frolic maiden. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. Oh, this is going to be a joyful time for you and for those around you, for the rest of us. You are bringing something great to the world here. Thank you so much. Okay. Excellent. All right. Let's see what Iyala Van Zandt has to say about this situation. Okay. The Until Today Tarot Deck. Well, it's a card deck um, by Iyala Van Zandt. Until Today. All right, let's see what this message is. But this is really good, Gemini. Good on you. Excellent. You use your brains and your and your and spirit. You tapped into those things, and you're going to make a difference in the world. Excellent. Be yourself. Be your unique self. Be yourself. But you made profits for the businesses, investments. People are making investments based on your advice. Hmm. I choose to release all the negativity in my life. Until today, I may have been holding on to people and situations that cause you pain. Until today, you may have been holding on to people and situations that cause you pain. Just for today, make a new choice. Choose to move beyond the things and the people who haven't honored the truth of who you are. Huh. Okay, so there's going to be some haters, naysayers, jealousy. Ignore it. I accept that things are the way they are, that they need to be. Until today... You may have held perfection as a standard that you needed to live up to or achieve. Just for today, accept that you are perfect just as you are. Okay, and I'm getting that, you know, maybe this is, um, maybe, maybe people didn't, they underestimated you. They underestimated you. And uh, it turned out that you were the one that was going to save the day. And you were, you were willing to come back and cut your vacation short to come and address this thing, too. So that's, that says a lot about you also. Okay. Anyway... Again, be careful when you're traveling, okay? Uh, even if you're traveling by car, make sure everything is good. Check your tires, your gas. Beware of others on the road. You're probably, this is going to happen in November, so it might be around the time that Thanksgiving leads up to Thanksgiving that week. Maybe that's why you're already there and you have to come back. As I said, you may have gone on vacation out of the country, but they're going to call you to come back. But it's okay because you're going to be doing a lot of traveling if you don't piss off the airline so bad in that situation that they don't let you get back on. But I don't think that's going to be a problem because, like I said, this you're going to become kind of famous. People are going to know who you are. So you should never have to probably deal with that airline situation again in your life, okay? So anyway, thank you so much. I hope that this resonated with you. If it didn't, I'm sure that it will resonate with someone out there. Okay? Our job is to get the messages and share them with the rest of the world. So do your part. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay? Tell your friends. If you subscribe, anytime I do these readings and the love bites and the unboxings, You'll get notifications, and you'll be able to join me. Um, I'm going to try to do the unboxings like in a live uh, thing, if I can. Learn how to do that. But it seems like uh, 
you don't take up a lot of space on the, the device when you do live, so that's helpful to, to, to know. I've kind of figured that out. I'm not sure, but it seems to be that way from what I can tell. So anyway, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, please comment, let us know what's going on, and I look forward to reading about you in uh, Forbes. <laughs> okay? So, I'll see you in mid-November for Love Bites. And, uh, well, the Love Bite will go from the middle of November to December, right? So I'll see you in uh, November for Love Bites and December for your generals, okay? So have a great Halloween and have a great Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon, as always. Amen. Ashe. Alafia. Peace.